So we can also see underwater. What's next? Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Under. Water. Ew, it's already right. cut open. Um, some frogs are like our frog's legs, like right here, is cut open. He's died. A frog does not see that it's dyed blue. And you can see his muscle, like that's his muscle. If you were to eat a frog, that's the part you would eat because it's like his meat. Ew. Alright, we have two more questions before we can cut his legs. Okay. Um, a frog does not chew its food. What do the positions of the teeth suggest about how the frogs use them? Um, these positions. Because of the teeth, how it's up here and how it's like sandpaper, I think it's just because he like, I think he like sucks on them. But then there's these two teeth that are like really tiny. Oh, his mouth is full of water. Um, the, there's these two teeth right here that are kind of sharp, so I guess he would use those, like, they're kind of like molars. But I guess he would like kind of grind his mouth a little bit, I guess you could say. But I think he would mostly suck on his food or just swallow it whole. Oh, that was a guy. I said he. Okay. We don't know what it is yet. We're guessing it's a guy because of his pads and his hands, but we don't know. Hey, look, at least it will be easier for cut it, to cut him open because he's already cut. His mouth is like. Open. Hello, my name is. We need to give our frog a name. Bill. No, Bill's too common. And we don't know if it's a guy or a girl yet. Two. Okay, his what's mouth just like stays open. Okay, what's next? Wait, like, <laughs> so, wait, you said he either grinds it or just chews it whole? Or just, or just swallows it whole. <laughs> it's a frog. Check off the following structures as you, as you find and identify them. Okay. Okay. Find the vomerin teeth. They're right here. The little two, the little they're right two here. Teeth. You see them? Yep, they're right here. They're so tiny. Yep, and they're uneven too. All right, so check. Um, the tongue. Find the tongue. Right here. Is it that that thingy? Right yep. There? This oh. is his tongue. How does this extend up? Find the pharynx. The pharynx is. Well, here's how it's pointing to. Right here. That would be. So that would be at the bottom? You're right here in his mouth. Yeah, the bottom. The pharynx? Yep, it's right here. Look. You can see it, it's right there. You see it? Oh, okay. If you see it, I, I guess I'll check it out. <laughs> Glottis. It looks like it's the back, 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 back center. Do you see it? Is there like something back there? There's a oh, you hole. you see it? The hole? I think that's what it is. You There's his there? hole. Esophagus, esophagus, esophagus. His that's esophagus is right here that I'm opening. Around the hole. I can't see it. I don't want the frog juice to squirt on me. The frog juice won't squirt on you, just look. Okay, okay. Look right here. Oh, all around it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you see that hole in there? Can you see the hole? Maximillary teeth. That's the... Right here? Does it really feel like sandpaper? Yes, it actually does. Alrighty, internal nares. They're right, this, right here. They are... Right here? Right there. Where the needles came to. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's you got a piercing. Tube. The station tube is right here. They're the lines around the esophagus, I guess. Oh, right, right there? Right here, yeah. Alright. It goes to his ears. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Did your frog have eggs? Oh, okay. We so don't wait. know. Wait, let's see. Let me read the next instruction. Here. Look for the opening to the frog's colica, located between the hind legs. Use the forceps to lift the skin, and use the scissors to cut along. Okay, I think you have to pin it down now. Okay. Hand me th four pins, please. You should have gloves. Oh, these pins are clean. Oh. Okay. That's why I'm having her hand them to me. Oh yeah, you can just get them. 
sorry, frog. <laughs> Stay down, stupid arm. Okay. Look for the opening located between the hind legs. So I think that's right here. It's right here. Look. Okay, don't worry so much about getting all the pictures. Okay, we need to start. Yeah, we're already ready. Okay. Yeah, we're doing. We're about to cut the legs. Yep. Right. Yeah, make a suggestion. So huh. use forceps to lift like, the skin no and use scissors to cut along the center of the body from the colica to the lip. Turn back the skin, cut towards the side, take this each guy leg, here. and pin the skin flat. Oh, so we're supposed to cut it before we pin the skin flat. Cut. <laughs> okay, now. And then you just. Yeah, you can just run that straight up, and you want to cut all the way, all the way up. Pull up a little bit, so you're not going to cut into the, mem the abdominal, okay, and then just hey, keep cutting up here. Keep cutting up here. Higher. Okay. Now you want to cut sideways on both sides. Cut this way, cut this way, cut this way. And then, uh, and then you should be able to peel him back. Okay. Put him down. Not yet. Same thing. You open it up like the old cereal boxes, you know, the individual cereal boxes, where you open up and put the milk in it, okay? And then what's what's going to happen? What will happen is your the abdominal, abdominal cavity, cavity is, you see this, and then you're going to do the same thing. You'll cut this up and cut it the same way. And spread right it out. And pin seat. it all down at the same time. Okay, yeah. right everybody listen for just a minute. I'm doing this. Everybody listen. The tighter you pin your frog, okay, the easier it is to access the. Oh, this shows us how to do it. Look. Okay. Yes, pin them, pin them just a minute. Pin down really well. Yes. Just a minute. I'm cutting mine open. Don't distract me. Yeah, just do cut the second. You're doing it right. Man, I can feel his pelvis. Ew. Sorry. Sorry, poor frog. Sorry, froggy. I don't know if you're a guy or a girl yet, but I'm sorry. Tell me when you're done cutting it so I can read the next instruction. Okay. You need to pin the skin down. I know. I have to cut it before I can pin it down. I think you cut some organs. Uh, I only cut the fat bodies, it's okay. Okay. Here's his sternum, if you look at it. Here's his sternum. What's his sternum? Um, the bone right here in your chest. The one that holds your ribs together. Oh, yeah. Alright, pin? So, pin them two pins. Alright, our next instruction. Lift and cut through the muscles and breastbone to open the body cavity. You did that, right? If your frog is a female, then the ab abdominal cavity may be filled with dark colored eggs. If so, remove the eggs on the one side so you can see the organ organs between beneath them. Is there dark colored eggs? I can't tell. <laughs> Poor frog. Sorry, frog. Oh, look, there's his esophagus. Okay. You think you cut it? I do not see any see eggs, but I just see his... Wait. No, I think our frog's male. Alright, so no eggs? No eggs. I didn't break my frog's arm. I felt bad. It was like, it stayed like this, so I wait. And it broke. Throw. I think I just broke my frog, like, really bad. You're mean? I broke his sternum. Alright, I'm a turtle. I hate frogs. Turtles are awesome. Do I have to like through which structures does food pass as it moves through a frog's digestive tract? Write down each structure as, and you, as you find them. Oh, I just cut his sternum. Is your frog a girl? I want to see. 